You've been an environmental champion for many years. Uh, what environmental policy laws are you most proud of? And second part of the question, what are you excited about accomplishing in the future? Hey, you know, we've, we've made quite a bit of progress here in New York State. And um, despite the huge kerfuffle on March 1st, we had the bag ban, the plastic bag ban. And, you know, I, I knew people were, they were, they had a one year in, you know, lead up to it, but I, I held a, a bag giveaway on March 1st and I ran out of almost a thousand bags in two hours. So people are aware, people were eager to comply, um, even though some belly ached, but, you know, it's, everyone was going to was prepared and of course now that's been kind of hampered by the fact that we're not supposed to go out that much but i you know i think the plastic bag ban is a is a huge accomplishment for this state even though we came to it kind of late um it still was a huge accomplishment and in this year's budget the ban on polystyrene is also an enormous um step forward something we've been struggling to to do for years um I, I have a bill to ban plastic straws and I was all set to get it done this year. And I think we were on track to passing it and it becoming a law. And um, sadly, I, I don't think that will happen now, um, but we keep working toward it and we keep, keep getting more support and, and talking about how important it is to chip away at all aspects of um, pollution. And, um, you know, the harm that plastic does to our marine environment. So plastic straws, I'm hopeful we'll do in the future, in the near future. Um, also, I've had a bill for years about coal tar, banning coal tar. And I thought we were on the precipice of passing that as well this year. Um, but I'm hopeful we will, we will do that in, in the future. And, and as I said earlier, I think when we come back, when there's more normalcy, people will appreciate in a much deeper way how we humans have, have caused, we have caused climate change and how we must, it's not I want to, I may want to, I'll decide, it's we must, it's incumbent upon us to change our everyday practices, what we use, how we how we go about living our lives in a much more um, aware way. So we're not using plastic, we're not, we're composting more, we're generating less garbage, we're moving much more rapidly to solar and wind power and enough with the coal, enough with all the bad, dirty ways we've been generating energy over the years. And I think, I hope that that is one silver lining once, once we're at the other end of this horrific pandemic. Well, I'm glad you're able to put a positive spin on all of this and sharing your thoughts on Earth Day. I know for myself and for Riverkeeper, we're very excited to continue working with you towards a plastic straw by request and also getting rid of coal tar pavement sealants. So yeah. we look forward to continuing that work. And thank you so much for sharing your thoughts about on this 50th anniversary of Earth Day. And thank you for all of your wonderful work. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you.